Welcome to episode one of my biblical dating series. What does the Bible say about righteous and healthy dating relationships? Now in this series, I plan to answer a lot of how questions, you know, how do you do this? How should you do that? But today I wanna to answer a why question. And that is, why do we desire to be in a dating relationship? Why do we desire relationships at all? Most of us have felt some sort of attraction to a person, some kind of romantic interest in someone, but why? What inside of us wants that, desires that? Now, one common uh, answer to this question is, you know, I don't wanna be alone. I'm afraid to end up alone. And I think that's a very real fear that I think everyone has felt in some way, shape or form. But I don't think it fully answers that question of why. So I wanna take it deeper. Why are you afraid to be alone? What about the thought of being alone brings that wave of insecurity and, and emotion for some of us? I think there's an answer to be found in Genesis 2 verse 18. Here God created Adam and Adam began to live his life. And this is what God has to say about what he saw. I'm gonna use my massive laptop to read the scripture. It says, the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. The ultimate lesson here is that humans are meant to be social creatures. In our core, we desire to have friends, to uh, be with one another, to laugh, to create memories with other people. If a human is to be healthy, they can't be alone. In our core, we desire meaningful relationships. That's just how God created us. And it's not good to be without meaningful relationships in your life. Now there are three ways that God designed to fulfill this need in our lives. There's marriage and there's, you know, a relationship with your family and relationship with your friends. A marriage or romantic relationship is not the only way that that need can be fulfilled. Now, many of us desire a romantic relationship and that's fine, that's great. God designed us to desire that. But it is not the only way God has designed for this need to be fulfilled in us. As a side note, you are not inferior to any other Christian if you are single. Christians who are married have no right to look down on any Christian because they're single. This is a lie that unfortunately has been conveyed uh, by members of leadership, uh, by just even society, and it's not true. You are not any less valuable to God or to the church because you are single. Don't let anyone or anything else convince you otherwise. Side note ended. Why do we desire meaningful relationships? It's because they're good for us. No one wants to be a part of a bad relationship. It's just damaging and awful and ugh. There's nothing good about a bad relationship. Good relationships help us become better people. They help shape us into becoming more like Christ. God created Eve because Adam needed a helper. God did not design us to go through life on our own. That's why he gave us the church, so we could go through life with fellow Christians. That's also why he gave us marriage. And he did that so we could get the love and support that we need. We desire to be in a romantic relationship because we need to be supported. Everyone does. A healthy and righteous relationship has that at the center. The goal of supporting one another needs to be your motivation behind why you want to be in a relationship. And if that's not your reason for wanting to be someone's boyfriend or girlfriend, then I have a question for you. Why are you in that relationship? Are you in that relationship just because it makes you feel good, it's fun? Or is it because you truly want to support this person? 
Now there is a stereotype with Christian dating that to be honest, it's kind of true. And that dating, you know, everyone's thinking about the one and who they're gonna marry. And, and if you start dating someone, then they're going to be your spouse. And if it doesn't work out that way, that's wrong. Now, my opinion, I think that makes us a little weird. But what I like about that is that it ingrains in us that there's a greater purpose to dating. It teaches us that being in a relationship needs to be deeper than, I mean, I like her and she cute or whatever. You know, I think it teaches that a relationship needs to be about, I care about this person. I support this person. I want to be with this person. I love this person. It should be this way because that's God's purpose for relationships. Remember, in our core, the reason why we want to be in a dating relationship is because we need to be supported and loved. God put that inside of you. God designed you to have that. My question is, is that your reason for wanting to be in a dating relationship? Is your goal to ultimately love and support your boyfriend or your girlfriend? That's the question that I want to leave you to think about. In the next video, we're going to be going deeper into this core foundation of supporting one another. We're going to talk about the scriptures in Acts 20, 35. <laughs> When Jesus says that it's better to give than it is to receive. So stick around for that. Thank you for watching.